Hi there, I'm Thomas. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I want to show you today how to strum and change chords smoothly. I'll start with the basics, but later on, I'll show you how to bridge that challenging part of strumming and changing chords in the middle of a strum. So let's get started. There's two parts to strumming and changing chords smoothly. There's being comfortable with the strum, and then there's being able to go from one chord to another. It's kind of like rubbing your belly and patting your head at the same time. Let's break it down into two parts. Start off with a simple strum. Go ahead and make a G chord in your left hand. So we'll do this together. Follow along with me on your guitar. So the G chord I'm using, if you look at my left hand, is this four finger G. You can do a different one, but I really do recommend trying this out. I've got my second finger on the sixth string on the third fret. That's a low string. The so first finger is here on this fifth string, second fret. And I've got my third and pinky next to each other on the third fret of the second and first strings. There's a little diagram up here you can look at. So now with the right hand, we're gonna do a very simple strum. We could go just straight down, and if you're just starting, that's probably the right way to go. But we're gonna choose a strum for now that uses down, down, up, down, up, down, up. That's four beats, one, two and three and four and do that with me come on start with one and then down up two three four and again one two and three and four and one two and three and four and good now you want to practice that a little bit to where you can do that smoothly without stopping or having to think too hard about doing it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I usually think of the 80% rule. Try to get to where you feel it's about 80% of the way there. Now with that strum, we're going to do the left hand and change to a no chord. The first thing to do is practice changing. So you've got that G chord. The next chord I want you to make with me is called a C add nine. It only involves moving the first and second fingers over. Take a look at what you got here. See, I got my first finger on that fourth string, second fret, and the second finger on the fifth string, third fret. Go ahead and make that chord with me, come on. First finger down, second finger, it's on the fifth string, see that? And I've got my third and pinkies together, same as a G chord. Now, without strumming, just practice moving over to that G chord, go ahead. First finger goes over, and the second finger goes over. How's it going? If you're sore, shake it out. Yeah, just shake it out for a minute. Make the G chord. Now we're gonna move to that C chord, but try this. Try moving both fingers together. Like that. <laughs> hey, I did it! <laughs> How about you? Okay, come on, try it. Back to the G now, go ahead. Now see what I'm doing is just practicing the movement, separate from the strum. Now, Step number three is we're gonna put the two together. So I'll trust you went ahead and practiced that a little bit on your own. You can stop the video and come on back after. So here's the next step. We're gonna strum counting to four. One, two, and three, and four, and. And then we're gonna to move to that C and you're gonna be ready on the one. Are you gonna move on the one to get there on C? No, you can't do that. You can't start moving on one and be there on time for one. Here's the key. On four, at the end of the strum, that's kind of on the up part, so we'll call it the and, right? Four and, the up part of the strum, you change there before you actually get to the one. So watch. One, two, and three, and four, and, and my left hand's moving on the and. And still leaves a little, a little kind of a, listen, a little space. Two and three and four. I'm, see, I'm not actually finger that and. You don't really hear that fast, listen. If you don't believe me, listen. You don't really notice that I've taken my fingers off on that last part of four. So try that along with me, just nice and easy. I'm not worried if you get it right now, I just want you to go through the motion so you can practice it. Start on the G chord with me. Here we go. Ready, go. G, one, two, and three, and four, and change. One, two, 
and three and four and I'm changing on the end one two now I won't stop and four and one two and three and four and okay I hope that makes sense you do have to practice it so it becomes a habit but it really works and I know for a lot of people this has really changed the way they think about changing chords and made it so much easier now what about if you have to change right in the middle of the strum like this one two and The idea is the same, but you're not going to wait till four. This time you're going to change on the up part of two, right in the middle of the strum. So like this, one, two, and, and I'm changing now, three, four, one, two, and, three, and, four, and, one, two, and, three, and, four, and, on the end of four I'm changing, one, two, and, I'm changing on the end of two. So try that once with me. Just we'll go a couple times just for practice. G chord. Ready? Go. Slow. One, two, and change. Three and four. And change back to G. One, two, and go into C. Three, four, and one. The same idea can be used with more complex drums as well. Listen to this. On this drum, there's a down, down, up. I'm skipping the strings and then doing another up. Down, down, up, up, down, up. And I'm changing chords on that up even though I'm not actually striking the strings. Down, down, up, changing up, down, up, down. down when I strike again. Give it a try. Have fun with it. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next lesson.